hello welcome back to another youtube video hope you guys are having a great week if you're new to my channel i'm patra arvindan ux designer here in san francisco bay area i post design videos every week if you like my video do subscribe um so that you get design videos every week and also like and share so today i'm going to go across sketch app so this is sketch app i'm going to talk about sketch app today because um it's my favorite design tool i completely um love it i've been using it for 3 years now and i have all the plugins here and all the um things that i like and want to do so as soon as you open this is how it is you this is a desktop app and it is available only in uh, mac as of now it has tons and tons of um, plugins available with it which makes it great and i think it's only like 99 dollars which is also great and it's one of a, a really good tool for uh, user interface design and visual design and just a whole lot of things and you can do design and prototyping here so this is your layers tool so you have all the pages and the layers here and here is the inspector tool so you have all your um, uh, properties of the to whatever you create over here and this is just a plugin it's called craft by invision so i can import uh, my mocks to invision and create prototypes um and this is like a menu bar so you have the prototyping tools here and then you have other kind of design tools over here um so to start off you can just like go through all these things there are so many tutorials on sketch but you can go through each one of this which is sort of it's very easy to understand you can learn sketch in like 2 hours i think and the most used one is insert where you can insert a shape or vector pencil text image or um an artboard slides hotspot is for prototyping and any ios design things so you know yeah and document so i'm just going to insert an app icon you know and yeah i have all these rulers and stuff here you can take them off if you don't want them but i usually use the rulers it kind of helps me you can have grids as well um and um i usually create an artboard so if you've used illustrator you might know what an artboard is it's just sort of to create a screen you can export this screen so suppose you have like this you know you can export this alone and you can have like multiple artboards as such that's the whole purpose of this and you can export it as each slide so you have this one now and if you want to suppose add a text just be like i've been recently liking this font a lot as you might know okay um going to delete this so yeah i mean it's as simple as that you add in stuff you create stuff if you want to edit this you can you know edit the width and height over here which i'm not going to do and you can add all the shadows and um color so this is already kind of made but if i'm going to be creating i'm going to make my own i can give it nice colors i can increase the radius over here same and then you can have also you know shadows um not shadows sorry um gradient so yeah um you can do all sorts of things and uh, the best part about these so i'll tell you like um my three favorite 
things about SketchUp. The first thing is you can export anything. So you can export this artboard, make exportable. You can export it as a PNG, PDF and all that. And you can set your size here, how, how, how much your resolution you want it to be and you can include background all that and at the same time you can also export each element make exportable and you can export each element and uh, um, if you want to export even just this text or if you want to export this element with the text inside you can do make exportable and be like slice this is called a slice so then it exports everything that's inside it as well you can include background color you don't want it so it creates like a slice so the whole thing everything that's inside it takes place so this is one of my favorite two features of sketch the other one is you know you can measure it if you click on option you can measure it to anything how much so you can always move you know you don't need these rulers you can always like how much is it to this how much is it to this how much is it to this so i i don't know i i use that a lot so I really like that um, I use that a lot so that's the reason the third thing that I really like is symbols I'm gonna show you something suppose I create this and I'm duplicating this artboard now okay before I duplicate I'm creating a symbol so this create symbol here rectangle and I'm duplicating this artboard and I go into the symbols you can see it here the symbols go into that now I have duplicated multiple ones you know like this and now I want to change my color <coughs> in uh, for all the four of them I go into this I choose this and I choose a different color go back and it changes in everything so you don't have to go and change in each and everything and at the same time if you also want different states you do rectangle one duplicate this and now you have say a different state okay and I go back to pages and now you can choose which state you want so you can create like a lot of states so yeah these are like my three most favorite features there are many more features there's so much you can do that the 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 uh, possibilities are endless you can create prototype you just click H, and then you create a hotspot from here to here and now uh, and then you create another hotspot from here to here and then I'm creating a hotspot here from here to here and you preview creating like a super quick prototype click on this so I'm gonna be here I'm gonna create a preview see so oh, cool so yeah you can do so much you can just create like a simple screen simple logo simple anything in like a matter of minutes so yeah that's it i hope you guys like this video and i'm gonna do many more videos because i have so many things to sh share with sketchup this is barely touching the surface so yeah i hope you guys have a great great week and i hope you start using sketch bye